Hello, and welcome to a new episode and a new season of NSPE's Committee Corner. I'm your host, Margaret Edwards, Policy and Advocacy Associate here at NSPE. The theme for today, um, for today's episode of Committee Corner, is a new year, a new season, and new topics to discuss with you all. So let's dive right in. So if you are you know, new here to the Committee Corner, uh, welcome. And if you're a returning listener, welcome back. Um, before we you know, talk about our you know, topic that we have for today's episode, let's just take a moment to you know, take a step back and answer the question of, you know, so what is NSP's Committee Corner? Um, if you're new here, you might be wondering. Um, so, so let's just take a minute to talk about it. Um, NSPE's Committee Corner is a video series where we take a deep dive into issues and conversations happening on Capitol Hill that relate to policy issues that matter to NSPE and to the larger professional engineering community. And the reason we're called Committee Corner is we do all of this through the lens of the committee system in Congress. Um, so why committees? Um, committees play a vital role in the legislative process and present countless opportunities to engage in conversations around legislation and legislative issues. Also, they're the first stop in the legislative process, so all legislation passes through committees, and there are many different opportunities and ways to kind of contribute our voice to the conversation that's happening just by looking at the committee system. Also, uh, the, you know, hosting Committee Corner gives us an opportunity to pull back the curtain on some of the issues that we're following at the federal level and talk about how it relates all back to you, our NSPE members. Um, so without you know, further ado, let's dive right into talking about the topic for today, which is the Water Resources Development Act. Uh, this is a new topic here in the committee corner. Um, and the reason we're talking about it today is both committees, um, that work on this legislation, one in the House and one in the Senate, have already begun their work on WERDA 2022. Um, you might be wondering what Water Resources Development Act is, and I'm here to tell you before we talk about the, the um, House hearing for this issue. Um, so Congress typically works on this biennial omnibus legislation, which authorizes U.S. Army Corps of Engineers civil works activities. And Congress refers to this as a Water Resources Development Act, or WERDA. Um, WERDAs are distinguished from each other by the year of enactment. So this year we're working on WERDA 2022. And back in 2020, they you know, worked on in the House passed WERDA 2020. Uh, WERDA provisions generally add to or amend existing U.S. Army Corps of Engineer authorities. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers authorizations and provide congressional policy direction to the agency. Drivers for enactment of a new WERDA typically include non-federal and congressional interest in new studies and projects, as well as adjustments to existing projects, programmatic authorities, and policies. Events such as droughts and floods, along with congressional deliberations on infrastructure investments and other policy initiatives may also shape deliberations of a WERDA bill. Um, historically, most WERDA provisions have focused on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers water resource activities. Um, however, some provisions have addressed the agency's regulatory responsibilities, such as issuing permits under Section 404 of the Clean Water Act. Um, and also in WERDAs, you know, Congress generally establishes a framework and guidelines for implementing U.S. Army Corps of Engineers water resources projects and activities. Um, they also authorize US, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to perform specific studies and projects. Um, and, you know, the whole thing is, is an author, authorizing bill um, rather than an appropriating bill. So it looks at programs for the Army Corps of Engineers relating to water resources. And you know, topics that may shape deliberation on a WERDA um, in this year, and this was from a Congressional Resources, Res Congressional Research Service report, CRS report, um, and, and kind of predicts that you know, broad policy initiatives, um, infrastructure investment deliberations, um, status and authorization of specific studies and projects, and the effects of WERDA provisions on discretionary spending and mandatory receipts are, are topics that are probably going to shape um, the conversation around this year's Water Resources Development Act. 
Um, so now that we've kind of established what WERDA is, um, let's talk about the hearing. Um, so earlier this month, the Water Resources and Environment Subcommittee of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee held a hearing on uh, the Proposals for a Water Resources Development Act of 2022 Administration Priorities. Um, the subcommittee's jurisdiction um, consists generally of matters relating to water resources development, conservation and management, water pollution control and water infrastructure, and hazardous waste cleanup. Uh, the chair of this subcommittee is Congresswoman Grace Napolitano, um, representing California's 32nd district. And the ranking member is Representative David Rouser, and he's from North Carolina. Um, this hearing uh, kicked off, um, as I said earlier, the work for this subcommittee for this session of Congress on um, WERDA 2022. Um, you know, during this hearing, you know, members received testimony from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers on the administration's priorities for a new Water Resources Development Act for 2022. The hearing was also intended to provide members with an opportunity to review the 2021 report to Congress on future water resources development and several reports of the Chief of Engineers on individual water resources projects that have been submitted to Congress for authorization. These reports and administration priorities will inform the committee in its development of a new WARDA, which the committee expects to develop and approve in 2022. Um, this hearing was also a great opportunity for members to ask um, the panelists, who were the Honorable Michael L. Connor, who is the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works, and Lieutenant General Scott A. Spellman, who is the Chief of Engineers at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, um, to ask those two panelists about projects specific to their districts um, or waterways found within their districts. Um, so, you know, that hearing, it was, you know, the kickoff. Um, I'd also be kind of remiss if I didn't add that um, Congressman Bruce Westerman, who is a professional engineer, sits on this subcommittee. And in past iterations of the subcommittee's work on the bill, he was one of the leading Republican members um, in, in this work whenever he served as the ranking member of this subcommittee in the 116th Congress. Um, so we have, you know, a very easy access to a professional engineer and the professional engineer voice um, being represented on this subcommittee and in this subcommittee's work on word at 2022. Um, again, you know, they are still at the beginning of this process and figuring out what provisions are going to be part of WERDA 2022. But, you know, you can count on us here at NSPE to be keeping an eye on things and looking for opportunities for us to make sure that the PE voice is heard, either by staff outreach or engaging you, our NSPE members, in advocacy opportunities um, on this bill. So stay tuned in the future as we continue to follow WERDA 2022 and its development throughout the remainder of this Congress. So before we close for today, um, just wanted to kind of give a little preview of what you can expect from this new season of NSPE's Committee Corner. Um, of course, you can expect new topics, you know, similar to what we discussed today with um, WERDA 2022, which we hadn't had the opportunity to discuss last year and last season. Um, also, you can expect um, updates on topics from last season, um, such as the implementation of the bipartisan infrastructure law that was passed um, and the appropriations process, which are, is still happening, is still being worked on um, you know, for the upcoming fiscal year. Well, the current and upcoming fiscal year. Um, you may see you, you may even see some new faces here in NSPE's committee corner as the new season progresses. Um, that was one thing that I really enjoyed last year was bringing on some of you, our members, to talk about issues um, and really add that professional engineering uh, perspective here in the committee corner. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for topics that you would like to see us cover here in the committee corner, please email us at governmentrelations at nspe.org, um, and we'll do our best to, to try and cover those topics or find a hearing or, you know, congressional committee 
that allows us to bring that topic up and talk about it. So please let us know what you want to see out of Committee Corner in this upcoming year. So with that, please be sure to tune in to our next episode of NSPE's Committee Corner. You can find us in the NSPE Advocacy Center or on the NSPE YouTube page. Thank you.